Hello, dear students, and welcome back to Inastava. My name is Eileen, and our topic today, comics and cartoons. So let's start. In this lesson, you will be speculating, and you will be creating your own superhero. For this lesson, you need a pen or a pencil, a notebook, internet access, and you can stop the video anytime you like. In your life, you have probably read lots of comics and cartoons. So, what are comics and cartoons? Cartoon is a type of illustration, sometimes animated, and it makes a brief, funny comment using illustrations, often with a moral at the end. A comic is a magazine that contains stories told in pictures. There is a person who just adores reading both comics and cartoons. His name is Harry. This is Harry, the boy I was telling you about. He loves reading comics and watching cartoons. And he is watching a cartoon today. Let's do it together. So, let's watch a cartoon, but let's watch it in parts. Namely, before we start really watching the cartoon, let's speculate a little bit about what's happening or what's going to happen in that cartoon. So, let's start. So, tell us, Harry, what is happening here? Who are these characters? And uh, why is that woman yelling at uh, that boy or a man? Do you have any ideas who they are and what they are doing? Hard to say. They could be brother and sister. No, she can't be his sister. She looks too old for that. But they could be mother and son. She could be yelling at him because he hasn't written his homework. Or he could be sitting all day and doing nothing, so she may be angry because of that. On the other hand, she can't be yelling at him because of that, since it was she who told him to go out. Yes, yes, you may be right, but you know, she was carrying something in her hands. What could that be? Do you have any ideas, Harry? It looks like a box. She could have bought him a new computer, but it makes no sense. She can't have bought him a new computer when she was telling him to go out and play. She may have bought him a present. I am now really interested to see what she may be carrying in that box. Well, definitely, she was carrying something in her hands. Ah, uh, it was a present. Let's see what happens next. You are absolutely right, Harry. It was a present. But why did he react in that way? First he was happy, petting the dog. Then he was angry, crying. What happened? What do you think? He may have expected something else in the box. No, it can't have been that. He seemed happy when he saw the dog. The dog may have bitten him. Yes, that could have been the reason. Harry has just told us some interesting things. It may have happened that way. On the other hand, it may have been something completely different. Let's hear your speculations. What do you think? Why did the boy cry? Stop this recording for a moment to speculate. And then we will hear what Harry has to say. Or it could have been something else. 
His mom may have asked him to return the dog because he hadn't done his homework. Another idea. She may have just shown him the dog. It may not have been his present at all. Well, it can't have been that. She did give him the present. So far we have just been speculating. But let's now watch the real cartoon. That cartoon won many prizes and the title is The Present. So copy this link, stop this recording and watch the video. I hope that you enjoyed watching the cartoon made by Jacob Frey and that you speculated well, that you guessed well. Now you know why the boy reacted the way he reacted, not because he was a spoiled teenager, but because he himself was disabled. Each comic or a cartoon has a moral. So what do you think would be the moral of this cartoon? You probably guessed that the moral is that you should accept your flaw, whatever it may be, and that nobody is perfect. Speaking of perfection, this cartoon was based on the comic strip titled Perfection. You can see one extract here that was made by the artist Fabio Koala. Harry was speculating. He said he could be her son. He may be crying because he. When we speculate, we use model verbs of deduction and speculation. We do it in the way that we use a model verb plus infinitive or a model verb plus be plus present participle when we speculate about a present situation, like in the example. The dog may have bitten him. It can't have been that, Harry said. When we speculate about a past situation, we express that with model verbs of deduction and speculation plus have plus past participle. Model verbs of deduction and speculation are must, might, may, could, can't, couldn't. And they don't have their usual meaning when we use them for this purpose. So must expresses a strong belief that something is true. Might, may, could. They express the possibility that something is true. And can't or couldn't. They express a strong belief that something isn't true. And please note, we never use mustn't in this context. Let's now speculate. Your task is, first of all, to copy this in your notebook and then to use the model verbs of deduction to speculate about the events that happened in the cartoon. So stop the recording in order to do your task. Let's now check what you have written. The boy pushed the dog. He himself may have been pushed that way by his peers. Mother yelled at her son. She can't have wanted to hurt his feelings. She must have tried to help him. The boy went out to play. The dog may have given him confidence. In future, the boy may be playing every day with his dog and he definitely can't be feeling lonely anymore. Enough with cartoons. Let's now go to comics. Have you ever read a comic? I'm sure you have. When I was a child, I used to read comics all the time. My favorite one was written by a writer called Peter O'Donnell, and those were comics about a secret agent called Modesty Blaze. Today we're not going to talk about secret agents, we're going to talk about superheroes. So lay back now in your chairs, relax, 
and watch the short video that follows. you can see another superhero but who is this one in the background you can see something that may help you uh, see or guess who that superhero may be I will tell you that that superhero is not from America neither is he from Great Britain he is from Croatia. He's our own Croatian superhero. And uh, his superpowers are speed, strength, regeneration, stamina, that means endurance, and he has special healing powers. Not only can he heal his own wounds, but also he can help others and heal theirs. His costume is a lavender leotard with a yellow cape and he drives a white Vespa. How did he get his superpowers? Well, he was injected with lavender when he was sleeping one day and when he wants to get some more strength, he drinks lavender juice. His arch enemy are moths and mosquitoes and his weapon is what else but lavender. His mission is to free the world from insects, mostly mosquitoes and moths. He's famous for being irresistible to women and his land of origin is Dalmatia land. It's interesting that in that Dalmatia land there is special currency. It is one tovar. Uh, it means donkey. So who is this superhero? Have you already guessed his name? Well, his name is Lavender Man, our own Croatian superhero. As we have seen with Lavender Man, superheroes have certain qualities. So when we talk about them, we mention their superpowers, their costume, how they got their superpowers, who their arch enemy could be, weapons they use, their mission in life what they are famous for, and the land of their origin, or if not land, the town, or sometimes the planet of their origin. Today, your task for your homework will be something similar. Your homework is to be very creative today and to create a superhero based on the input from the previous slide. Mention his or her costumes, superpowers, weapons, arch enemies, mission, land of origin, and what he or she is famous for. It would be nice if you could add some interesting details, or if you feel very creative, you can draw your own superhero, or even put together a short comic. This rubric may help you do your task, so mention all the characteristics of a superhero and try to find some other interesting details. Pay attention to your grammar and vocabulary. We have come almost to the end of the lesson. 
And now we're going to check what you have learned today. If you have completed all your tasks, expressed your speculations and created your superhero, tick the smiling smiley. If you haven't, go back to the part that you haven't done and do it again. I hope that you have enjoyed learning English with me today and that you have learned something new. Until we meet some other time, bye everybody.